Right, yes, we've got the EP8. New motor completely with a new chassis. Ground up rebuild, 250 watts. But now they've increased the battery size, so we have 630 watt battery. Uh, which gives you a greater autonomy. The weight, they've reduced the motor down in weight, so I think it's about 2.6 kilos. The overall total is actually a little bit more, but you can't really feel it, to be honest, on the bike. It's smaller in size, they say it's about 10% more compact, which gives the bike makers the ability to uh, improve the integration inside the frames that have been launched here. But honestly, they've done a really good job with the physical size of the motor. When you hold it in your hand, you actually look at it you can see up close how it is a lot smaller than the old system and it feels lighter so shimano have spent a lot of time obviously on the design phase improving that part it's got 85 newton meters when you're riding you don't feel that as a big boost compared to the older version you can feel there is more power but it's more subtle there's a different feeling you feel that the motors approaches that extra power with a bit more intelligence well in reality if you stand up on the pedals on a normal e-bike motor you often find you've got a bit of a hole as you go from the phase of sitting to standing so on this system you can feel as you stand up in the pedals that it's got more support so you push down on the pedals and it resists more so comparing to the rest of the market it's hard to say really because motors now they're looking for marginal gains between all the different systems to comparing it to say the Bosch or comparing it to a uh, specialized motor or the Yamaha yes it's moved the market on it's made a difference but I wouldn't say it's mind-blowing uh, the old system was good it worked well this new system is better it works well <laughs> It's up to you, try the bike, try the motors, see what you think. From a software point of view, there's definitely been an improvement because Shimano's previous software was a little bit uh, simple. Simple. The new system has better ability to tune so you can move, uh, vary the power modes and the type of support they give you more easily. So it gives you the ability to update the bike and make uh, running changes that Shimano launches over different times through the years. Normally, in the last four years, we've seen at least two or three major updates. Now there's been rumours around from various testers that this motor does make a little rattle noise. Now I have ridden it and I can say that yes there is a different, definitely a little rattle. <laughs> This is not quite the finished product. As far as I'm aware, from the different people I've spoken to, there will be developmental changes taking place because actually in the field, uh, the motor might perform differently to what they really experience, especially when you put it in the hands of masses of journalists. This happened with the original E8000 motor. I was lucky enough back in 2016 to test the very first E8000 motor, and that motor was not perfect. It had software problems, it overheated, there was all kinds of weird things going on with it when I first tested it. Take note of any problems and they will make a solid update that will absolutely, before it hits the market, uh, remove any issues or questions out there. With the Shimano gear system, it works very well together. You find that your shifting is quite smooth. It's got a 12-speed system. Pushing up steep little bits just feels like a smooth uptake. Start off at low cadences. You can feel the motor is a bit more supportive. There's many things in there which are very subtle, which we need more time to dig into. Overall, I would say Shimano have done an excellent job, pretty good. There are some updates and changes to make before they give it the final release to the public. She won't.